gold, silver and gold. Everyone wishes for silver and gold. So, it's been a very trying week. Um, I had a bunch of loads cancel early in the week. And then um, my truck started giving me problems. And I ended up in uh, Montgomery, New York at the Freightliner dealer. Um, they got me right in the next morning, Friday morning. And uh, I thought I was stranded. I mean, they found all kinds of problems. All of it, you know warranty stuff stuff I didn't even know about um, was wrong with it because you know the truck doesn't tell you anything and uh, sorry I'm making a mess in here um, but they fixed it all up I made a video while I was there but I was so frustrated and uh, after watching it I really didn't like the way it was coming off in the video so I deleted it um, and uh, I just was in a bad mood so I didn't take any footage and that's that um today um they basically said to me listen there's still something wrong with this we don't know what it is um why don't you just either you can get a uh, we'll take you to a hotel if you want to stay till monday or you know uh whatever you want to do and i said well i only live three hours from home i'll just rent a car <laughs> and drive home for the weekend and drive it back so they said okay and they took me to the airport and um went to rent a car and uh didn't realize that my credit card expired a week ago <laughs> so i mean i had renewed it so i imagine uh, i just got home so i imagine the new one is in the mailbox um or my neighbor has it because they get my mail for me sometimes um so, and you can't use a debit card at the airport anyway, at least. They wouldn't let me. So, I was so frustrated at that point that I was seriously about to book a $700 flight from Newburgh, New York to Syracuse, New York, just because I wanted to go home. I didn't even care. And uh, it was at that moment that the Freightliner dealer called me back and said, you didn't leave yet. 
Um, and I said, no, I'm still at the airport. And they said, uh, well, we found the issue. We'll get you going here in a bit. And I said, okay. And they came back and get, picked me up. And um, a little while longer, I was out on the road. And I picked a load up to deliver Monday in Rochester. So I'm at the house, thankfully. And I'm excited to get home and uh, spend tomorrow Easter with my daughter. Because that's the thing that upset me the most. I just I couldn't get home to my little girl. And, um, you know, that was just really tough. That really upset me. So, but now I'm home. I'm in my driveway. I'm going to go eat ice cream and watch a cops marathon. That's just what I'm going to do. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's just been a trying week, and uh, I'm just going to forget all about it. Uh, thank God that I'm still alive, and go at it. Get after it again next week. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.